Hey Crafty Cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. Today we're going to be working on the Dollar Tree Junk Journal. So let's get into it. The last video we created the journal cover. In today's video, we're gonna go through, we're going to prepare our pages for our journal. We are going to decorate and I'm going to show you lots of different page ideas. So go ahead and grab your pages, grab all of your supplies to decorate. We're gonna be creating tags, journaling cards, and more removable things in the one of the next videos, I should say. All right, grab your stuff and let's go. But I wanted to quickly mention in a couple videos back, I told you guys that we were going to actually make some of our own paper and I didn't do that the next video, but I am still planning to do that. I have all of the supplies for it. And if you want a little heads up so that you can grab the same supplies, um, let me grab that and show you. I'll admit it's going to be kind of an experiment. I've never done it before, but you're going to need two frames. I'm going to do five by seven because the paper I know does turn out a little thick. So I'm actually going to be using the paper as tags. You'll need some kind of screen. And if you want to get yours at the Dollar Tree, you can use like a pantyhose. Um, they have like netting there. Um, but my mom actually had like leftover screen from a screen door. So I'm using this because it was a free kind of thing. And then you will need a blender of some sort, but I know that doesn't come from the Dollar Tree. So if you don't want to use a blender, um, we will go over some different alternative ways that you can do it without. And then you're going to need paper scraps. Let's get on to what we're doing actually today. And I don't know how many pages I'm going to put in here, but I want to just start trimming some of them down. I forgot that I had some baking paper here too. Some pages, let's just, um, and I have my, so basically for this step, you're gonna go ahead and pull out every type of page that you want in your journal. Um, it can be envelopes and I have, um, these are kind of fun to use, you fold them in half. First I need to see what size I need. Okay, so for me it looks like um, a normal letter size page is smaller than my hardcover, um, so that will be totally fine. I don't need to cut those down. Since I don't need to cut them down, I'm basically just gonna start folding them all in half. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, I know that I wanna use one of these. So I'm gonna start by making one signature again, because I'm just trying to figure out how many pages I even need. And I just like to alternate the pages in a signature. The more pages you have in the signature, the more crowded each page is going to be within that signature. I don't like to overdo it. So I think I'll only add this many. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's good. So I'm gonna do five pages in each bundle and I'm counting the envelope and the smaller page as a page. So I have five full pages. Okay, so I grabbed like everything, guys. Now, remember, keep in mind, we're just, today, we're just going to embellish onto the pages. Don't forget that we still have a lot of work to do. We're still going to make tags, journaling cards, embellish little pieces to put into the journal, things that like are removable. We don't wanna go overboard with decorating each page because we're gonna still make some things that we can put into the journal. Like there's so much we can do with the supplies we have that I could go on and on for forever with videos, but let's, let's just try to keep it simple to start with because we can always add more. Let's see, so for this part, sometimes I like to Okay, so I think for this part, I am going to, I have, I grabbed some of these fastener dots, they're Velcro. And, and if you're wondering how I'm coming up with the ideas as I go, I'm just really easily inspired by seeing things 
and I make journals so often that I just constantly have ideas. So don't feel bad if you don't. That's why I'm making these videos because I want to inspire you um, to start getting ideas like this. So I'm taking my little Velcro dot and I'm going to place it on the edge here, or sorry, not like the tip of this, and place it down. It is a little bulky, but that's okay. And then I'm going to, I'm going to start using some of this double-sided tape. I did not get this specific roll from the Dollar Tree, but I've got double-sided tape from the Dollar Tree many times, and I have a smaller roll somewhere from there. So I'm just putting a little bit of the double-sided tape on there. And then I'm going to kind of line up this card on top of the envelope. And that's going to give us a fun little so you flip. So you can write inside the card, lots of journaling space in there. And then you can also, I need to add a little bit more tape, but then you'll also be able to open that up. But I need to add just a little bit more tape on the edge there. I'm going to take one of my sticker packs and just to kind of spruce up this card, I'm gonna take this little kind of label and just place it down in the corner here. But then also I'm gonna take some lace and put some on here as well. Maybe just down. Yeah, I'll just put it down at the bottom, I think. Bring you guys in a bit. And I am, I guess you'll see me kind of go back and forth with the wet glue or double-sided tape. No rhyme or reason really, just whatever I'm feeling like using at the time. There. Okay, now there we go. So we have our card opens. And then you have a little kind of hidden envelope and we'll probably fill that up when we make some more cards and tags and things. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead now and glue this down. I'm gonna take these stamps, use my Distress Oxide because I don't have any Dollar Tree stamp right now. Stamp ink, I should say. And I'm going to, I'm trying to figure out how this one goes. I think kind of like this. I'm gonna place this like right I can't tell if I did that right or not, but let's see. I think it's like kind of sideways. And it didn't stamp too well. I could tell that ink didn't seem like it was working too well. So I might go ahead and grab my black ink and try that again over it since you can't really see it. So I got my black ink and I'm gonna stamp over this or I'm gonna try to line it up as good as I can just because it didn't really show up too well. I'm just going for it. That didn't line up very well, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna take this page right here. It's folded in half, and I'm going to glue it on down here, down the bottom. Again, just like a pocket, but this one, since it's folded, it will also be like a little fold up kind of thing. So you'll have a pocket right here, but then this pops up too. And maybe we can take some coffee dyed paper, just plain, and kind of cover the inside. I think I'll do that, but I'm gonna just use, I just want this to be kind of like, kind of a torn look. So I'm just measuring, kind of. Just gonna tear that. I want it to be a little bit smaller than the area that I have. add just a little bit of glue because then I think it's a better spot for writing since there's um, you know writing all over here it's a better journaling spot I should say but you could also put pictures here too okay again just so I remember to come back and put a tag in it so that I know it's a pocket I'm just gonna put some blank tags in these spots for right now these are not from the Dollar Tree, so we'll, we'll be replacing them, but just a little placeholder. So 
So over here, again, I'm not going to try and cover all of the pages, but I do just want to give you guys so many ideas so that you can pick and choose what you like. So I'm just going to, for this one, just add some lace on the edge. And I'm just using my glue. I don't like to use double-sided tape for lace because I feel like it ends up being sticky all the time. Okay, so we'll do that. And I did have some washi tape from the Dollar Tree that I was thinking of using. Here it is. This one's just kind of like a striped. And I'll take a little bit of that. I don't always find that their washi tape is the strongest, so I like to add a little bit of glue. And I'm just going to place that kind of right next to the lace. Okay. Let's keep going. And there's so much more decorating we can do, but let's wait until we make more embellishments to, you know, make sure that we have a place for everything. Okay, so I have so many, like, stamps. Like, there's just so many options. <laughs> uh, actually, let's go ahead and take this fabric. And I think I'm just, for this, oops, I'm going to cut a piece that's just a little bit smaller than the page. I'm at a really ooh, awkward angle, by the way. A little bit. Okay, kind of. Since we already have lots of decorations on this side of the signature, I'm actually going to go ahead and flip and have this be over here on this side. I just kind of want to equal. I want to get everything kind of even. So I'm going to use kind of this big piece right here to kind of cover the page and I'm going to use my stapler to staple it on. I don't really want to use glue and I'm trying not to use my sewing machine, but typically I'd probably sew this just so you know. And also while I'm doing this, I wanted to tell you that I also have quite a few videos where I show you my favorite junk journal page ideas. So it's basically one video, you know, showing you tons of page ideas. So if you are stuck on page ideas that you like, um, you can check that video out and get lots of ideas. And I like how this has a little tassel down here. I'm going to keep that because I think that's cute. Um, okay. So then basically it's just kind of like a little hidden area, not really hidden, but you know, you could put journaling or paid pictures down there. Okay. We're going to turn now. And now this is the center. I always like to do a pocket in the center, at least on one of the signatures. So I think we'll do that. I'm thinking of using this paper and it's actually just the right size. So I think I'm going to just fold this up so that it's a little bit sturdier. And I mean, it's, it's kind of nice just as it is. So I'm going to glue this down, this flat, you know, I could just cut it off. Why am I not cutting it off? I don't know. I guess I said to make it a little bit sturdier. <laughs> it's okay. Now I'm just thinking that it might get caught. Papers might get caught on it, but oh well. We'll just make it work. Okay, so I think I will take some lace again across here. I might go ahead and take one of my napkins and rip off some here. And I'm totally just ripping this and I'm gonna pull the two ply apart and we're just going to add glue in this area actually I am just going to add it straight to the napkin because I don't want it to get all over the pocket so that I have to like let it dry so we're going to just go like this so at this point this is I don't really feel like I'm decoupaging because I'm just gluing it straight down I don't know if there's a difference but okay so I'm just going to cover that up I didn't really care too much about the um, quote. I didn't really read it to be honest, but okay, I'm going to glue the lace across here. Okay. 
And I'm just kind of embellishing, I guess. So stickers again. Lots of beautiful stickers from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to put this one right here. I love using stickers that have like labels or places to do journaling. You do need to use kind of like a, either a permanent marker works good for those or something that's not going to smear off. Okay, that's pretty. I could do more decorating, but I think I am happy with that. Um, I might just layer on. I love this really light purple lace. And so I might just go ahead and put some down here on this side. Yeah, that looks pretty. I'm just going to fold this in half so I can get a good fold mark there. So I'm just going to do the same thing I do for all my pockets. And so I'm just going to glue down the sides and all the way across. And I don't know why I'm not using my double-sided tape. That would work really well for this again, so I didn't have to wait for it to dry, but that's okay. I might add some on the bottom just to be sure this pocket is whole. Take the pocket now. I did add double-sided tape, and I'm just going to line that up. And I didn't do that too good because there's some hanging off the edge, but that's just fine. Whoops, I just ripped off the lace there. And since I don't want to do that, I'm going to take my staple. And I can feel like this signature is already getting quite over embellished. So I'm just going to have to be careful. That's why it's good to kind of, I think, decorate before sewing everything in. I'm trimming that off a little bit just because then your journal is not going to be like too filled up. Okay, so let's go easy on the next few pages here. I want to try one more of these stamps. So I picked the flower and let's see, I think I'll actually try. I have this ink that's super inexpensive, but not from the Dollar Tree. It's from uh, Amazon, but let's just go ahead. It's kind of like an ombre. I think it's going to look really pretty though. So that does look so pretty and I accidentally got some ink right there. Since I got ink there, I think I'm going to make maybe a little like envelope out of some coffee dyed paper. So I'm going to take just like half a sheet. I'm not measuring, but I'm just going to kind of fold up. This paper is not even even, but that's fine. <laughs> and then I'm going to fold this flap down. There we go. I'll try to even that up just a little bit. There's a little bit of excess. Um, just trim that up doesn't have to be perfect at all. And then I think for this one, I'm going to use my staple and I'm just going to do a couple staples up the side on both sides. You could use um, Velcro again if you want to have like a Velcro, you know, little flap here, but the Velcro is quite dimensional. I don't want to add too much bulk, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down. And I'll glue this one straight down instead of making it into another hidden pocket. Whoops, I'm going crazy with the glue, guys. So I'm just going to place that kind of right in the center. You can still see our pretty flower stamp. And then I want to decorate the flap. I'm just going to take some more of that purple lace and just glue straight down. And then I think I'll use a sticker. And I am really excited that I'm actually using stickers for once because to be honest, I used to collect stickers and I just never used them, but they make such an easy, pretty um, like embellishment. I kind of want this sticker to go over the flap if that makes sense but it's obviously a sticker and so I'm gonna need to back it with something, but I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna cover the back of this sticker with some scrap paper. If you have one of those powdering tools for embossing, you could just use powder and put it over the sticky part, but I'll just do this and then I'll just trim around. Okay, we have our pretty little envelope. I'm just gonna kind of flip through and see 
I think I'm gonna keep everything else blank for now because we have so much in this one signature. We're just gonna call that one good. We're gonna put her aside, we can always add more. I just like to stick it in the journal cover for now so as we're adding, we can continue to see how fat it's getting. I'll grab one of the next signatures and then I'm just gonna go through and show you a few more ideas for each signature. Okay, I'm feeling like I decorated that first signature a little too much because like I said, I wanna keep space for more embellished things to go into the journal but that's fine, we'll keep it how it is for now. Okay, I'm gonna take a book page, and this is gonna be just another simple pocket. Um, first of all, this book page is wider than our page in the journal, so I'm gonna tear that down first to be a little less wide. Keep the scraps, we can do something with that. <laughs> and then I'm going to simply just fold this up and then we can use this as a double pocket if we want to go one step further. Let's also cut this another second page down. Try to get it the same width as that first one. And then we're going to do the same thing where we fold that up as well. And then we're going to stack these. I like this little uh, design, so I'm going to put that to go on top. And then look at that, we just created a four-tiered pocket. I'm going to use double-sided tape for this since I remembered. I'm just going to take my double-sided tape and stick it right to the edge. A lot of you have mentioned to me that this is going to be your first journal that you're making. I don't want to intimidate anyone or make you feel like you have to do these crazy pages because your journal is going to look great no matter how, no matter what you do to it. Um, so I'm going to try not to go too crazy with this, but I do have videos on my channel already if you want to, you know, have your journal be a little bit more involved. Okay, I'm going to fold that back up now, right over. But I want this to, I want to try to keep it a little bit more simple to show you that you can end up with something amazing. Okay, so. So now we have both of the sides taped up. And then I just need to go ahead and attach this right to the top here, right on top. And then you can decorate or embellish however you would like on the top here. I'm thinking of using, I have so many really pretty um, stickers. I think I'll use this little butterfly and then I think I'm also going to take more lace I love using lace and get two pieces that are just about the same size as these sides here I'm actually gonna use my staple for that I like using staples um, I have people ask me a lot like don't you know like about the look of staples and I like how the staples look so if you don't that's totally fine you don't have to use staples okay just do the same here I'm gonna move that sticker on top in just a minute and I've decided to take a little bit of this napkin just tearing off like a little corner of it and I'll also put that on just for a little extra color, mostly. And again, I'm not really decoupaging this on. Just, there's a little writing here. I don't want that off, please. It was like the brand or the company. I'm totally fine with it being a little ripped, kind of like just kind of random there. Okay, and then I'm gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna try to add a couple decorations to each signature. So I'll put this on the inside and actually I think I will like it on this small um, flap. So I'm actually going to turn that inside out <laughs> just because I would rather cover up the little saying. And then I'm gonna glue that straight down. I'm just going to just add glue everywhere. Add it right there. 
and like how that turned out. And that will be really fun to add tags or something to on the inside. Okay, so I wanna stick to just doing a little bit of embellishing. I'm gonna take my washi tape for this page and just add a little bit of washi tape on the side. I think that's the perfect touch and kind of gives you a starting point if you want to add something more to it. And then this one was the inside cover, or sorry, the in, the middle of the signature is what I mean. And I think I'll just leave this for now because I feel like that will be fun to play with when you're actually playing in the journal. You want to keep lots of space for that as well. Okay, for this last little thing I'm gonna do in this signature, I'm gonna make a little cluster. So I'm gonna take some of my coffee dyed paper scrap. I'm just gonna take a little piece. I'm going to take some fabric. Again, just a little piece, a little snippet. <laughs> and just kind of do some layers here. Um, we'll do some of the purple lace to add color. Sorry guys. And then I always like to finish off my little snippets with like a sticker, a saying. Um, these stickers would be really pretty. They do have the little pearl, which is a bit dimensional. So I'm gonna use a sticker instead. And again, such pretty stickers from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to just make sure to layer this up how I want it so that everything shows a little bit. And when I'm making like little snippets, clusters, I really like to use staples because I think it adds just a little bit something more. And then for this, I think I'll just place it down in the corner and I'm just going to glue the whole thing down. This isn't going to be a pocket or anything like that. It's just a little decoration. Okay. So we're going to call this signature done, set it aside in our journal again for now. We have two more to work on. So for this one, I kind of think I want to use an envelope a simple kind of way to embellish a page and also you know add some space for something this is super plain so I'm thinking I will grab my stamp again or stamps and I'm gonna see about just stamping this all the way across make sure to stamp a few of the designs kind of off the page too I just like how that looks And then for this, I think I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do the front page actually. I'm gonna come in here and just put that straight down to the inside page here. Just glue it straight down. There. Nice, simple envelope. Okay. And let's see, we'll keep this, I guess, but I'm going to take this smaller page out. I just didn't really like how that looked. And maybe we can use this as a decoration for this page. And then we'll call that good. So this one is, this is going to be a double pocket. This is one of the favorite, one of my favorite page ideas. It's very simple. You just need a piece of paper that's going to be smaller than your page. You're going to fold it in half and then I'm going to take some scissors and cut a little notch while it's folded in half. So you'll see like a half circle. And that was definitely not <laughs> even at all. So. I'm going to try to make it a little bit more even, but I'm telling you, I'm working at a really odd angle, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 
There. And the words are upside down, but I'm not going to worry about that. We're not going to focus on that. And then you're just going to glue or tape all the way around like that. But then I also glue the very center so you'll see that fold mark and that's why I like to fold it. And then you're going to place that down like that. And then now I am going to use my little placeholder tags to start with just so I can remember to come back and add something here. But you'll see what it looks like with tags too. There. And then a lot of times I like to add what place? <laughs> To the little center area usually. I think I'll use some washi tape too. Just a few layers of some pieces. And maybe this is just some napkin. I just want to add like some texture I guess. And of course, why not add some stickers or a sticker? Um, I'll use this one. And then I'm just going to add glue to the back of all of this. So now we have a really cute little double pocket. While we're on this page, since I have this envelope here, I'm gonna go ahead and actually close it shut. And then since I'm going to keep this in the signature, I'm gonna cut a little notch here as well. I'm not sure what's up with my notches. They're not working out for me well today. If you, want to use something that's like a circle to trace around you probably have better luck with your little notches but that's okay so now i'm going to put it back in my signature here and then hopefully you'll be able to kind of see it's just going to be a pocket with um a little side pocket here but i'm not liking how that actually looks in the book with this page here so once again i'm going to take it out and move it around and that's fine if you need to move things around so I don't like it there either. So even though I cut the notch out, guys, I'm just going to take that out. That's okay. I think that's all we're going to do to this signature. Maybe since I already cut that, why don't I just go ahead and cut it in half? We'll just place it down here. I need to add some staples to the bottom since I cut that in half, but we'll just go like that. Boom, boom. And we'll just add this straight down to the back here. Maybe I'll actually open it up one. And I'll put it here. Then we'll have a nice little place. I'm going to add a little bird sticker. There. Now we have another pocket. Okay, done with that signature. We have one to go. We'll just do a few things to that one. Last signature, let's open her up. We're gonna keep the first few pages blank, I think, for this one. I wanna use some more book pages, and by the way, we'll, we'll use even more book pages when we start to make tags and journaling cards and, and other things that can go into the journal. But for now, I'm gonna start by tearing that in half. And I think I'm gonna do a corner pocket. I love I never think to do corner pockets, but I see my friend Kara Brandon do these a lot and they always look just so cute. So I'm just going to do that. We're going to make a little triangle here. Mine's not perfect, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down. Again, embellish however you want. But I like that it's functional and for this one, I like that it kind of blends in with the page. But this does look really cute with like, you know, um, pattern paper, if you have any, or I have seen pattern paper at the Dollar Tree too before, but it's been a while since I've seen any. Okay. I'm looking at 
some more of my stickers. Oh, that one will be cute there. Um, hmm. I think again, I'm just going to use a sticker. <laughs> when in doubt, sticker it out. Okay, that was weird. Uh, but let's not forget our lace. Imagine my entire journal is gonna, all the pages are gonna be glued together shut because I never waited to let the glue dry when I was adding lace. But hey, that's okay. Okay, I love this sticker. Like how, how pretty is that? Dollar Tree, you guys. It's a Dalla. Okay. Super pretty. We could do some stamping on the background too, but I don't know, I kind of want to keep it. For this one, I was just looking and I remembered that I really liked these stickers. And I think I'm going to add one. How does that even work? So it's a pop-up sticker, it says. Okay, there, it just needs to come off. Oh wow, so you can take the windows out if you want. Oops. I think I'm going to keep the windows in. I feel like that's what kind of makes it look cute. But actually, now that I know, you can easily take these off. Um, it might look... Oh, boy. Okay. They're coming off. <gasps> Ooh, which actually gave me an idea. Okay, let's keep them off. Another idea. So, we're not going to put it on here. So, instead, I'm going to go ahead and trim down the side like this. And this will be a pocket, okay? We'll have a side pocket here. Flip that, go on to the next. We're gonna make a pocket. I want to cut out the area so that the windows will be kind of see-through, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna use this as a guide. And I know that I need to cut out like a window that's gonna be right around this size. <laughs> okay, I hope I'm clear here. So I'm just gonna take I'm not going to do this like super nice or anything. I'm going to take a pencil though. And we're going to put this right here. I'm just going to trace around this and then we're going to cut that out. Okay, bear with me. You'll, you'll see. I'm just going to dig my scissors in there. Try not to cut my hand off. And cut this out. Sorry if I shook you a little there. Okay, hopefully my idea is gonna work. <laughs> okay. Then we're gonna place this down. Yeah, okay, that's gonna work. We're gonna place it down. And then, basically, so I don't want this to be sticky. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover that up with like some scrap paper right now. Okay, I just did that very, very messily. Okay, I covered up all the sticky parts. And then now we're gonna take our glue. Again, we're making like another pocket, essentially. I probably could have done this so many different ways, but I think I'm just gonna glue here, shut this. And then, basically we'll be able to insert a picture or something that we want to peek through so for now it's blank again we can go like this we can add we can even make a tag that will kind of go down here and show so we'll keep it blank for now that's gonna be really fun this part's coming off so i'm gonna go ahead and glue that back on and then we can go ahead and just glue this into the journal that's going to be really fun. Okay. So I think I'm going to put it right here. I just put glue all over. I'm going to put this down, but it's just funny because I just saw the name Alistair. That's my son's name. It's not a very common name, so it just made me smile. Okay. I'm just going to glue that right down. I love having little pockets on like the shorter, smaller pages in a journal. I'm not sure why, but I just do. There. There we go, guys. So we're gonna call this done for now, done decorating the pages. And I'm not gonna sew them in yet, but now we have an idea. 
I'm glad we didn't go overboard because we have a lot more to add into this journal. So I hope that you guys got lots of inspiration and ideas, but don't worry, we have more ideas coming. So I will see you in the next video. Have a lovely day. Bye guys.